Welcome to English Practice Every Day. Idioms we will learn today are 1. Go ballistic. Go ballistic. 2. In and of itself. In and of itself. 3. Hand to mouth. Hand to mouth. 4. You are the company you keep. You are the company you keep. 5. Hand in glove. Hand in glove. 6. Leave out. Leave out. 7. Jokes on you. Jokes on you. Let's start. Please speak out loud with me. 1. Go ballistic. Go ballistic. Go ballistic means to become extremely angry or agitated. Go ballistic means to become extremely angry or agitated. When Jane found out her car was stolen, she went ballistic. When Jane found out her car was stolen, she went ballistic. My brother went ballistic when I accidentally broke his phone. My brother went ballistic when I accidentally broke his phone. The coach went ballistic when the team lost the game due to a silly mistake. The coach went ballistic when the team lost the game due to a silly mistake. 2. In and of itself. In and of itself. In and of itself means by itself or without considering anything else. In and of itself means by itself or without considering anything else. The painting in and of itself is a masterpiece regardless of the artist's reputation. The painting in and of itself is a masterpiece regardless of the artist's reputation. Freedom in and of itself is not enough. It must be accompanied by responsibility. Freedom in and of itself is not enough. It must be accompanied by responsibility. Studying late at night is not harmful in and of itself, but lack of sleep can affect your health. Studying late at night is not harmful in and of itself, but lack of sleep can affect your health. Three, hand to mouth, hand to mouth. Hand to mouth means living in poverty, having just enough to sustain oneself. Hand to mouth means living in poverty, having just enough to sustain oneself. After losing his job, Ben was living hand to mouth for several months. After losing his job, Ben was living hand to mouth for several months. With the economic downturn, even middle class families were living hand to mouth. With the economic downturn, even middle class families were living hand to mouth. During the drought, many farmers lived hand to mouth, barely able to feed their families. During the drought, many farmers lived hand to mouth, barely able to feed their families. Four. You are the company you keep. You are the company you keep. You are the company you keep means you are influenced by the people you spend time with. You are the company you keep means you are influenced by the people you spend time with. Surround yourself with kind and thoughtful people. After all, you are the company you keep. Surround yourself with kind and thoughtful people. After all, you are the company you keep. Old and wise people often say, you are the company you keep, so choose your friends wisely. Old and wise people often say, you are the company you keep, so choose your friends wisely. If you hang out with troublemakers, you are the company you keep and your reputation will suffer.
If you hang out with troublemakers, you are the company you keep and your reputation will suffer. Five, hand in glove, hand in glove. Hand in glove means working closely together or in close association or partnership. Hand in glove means working closely together or in close association or partnership. The siblings work hand in glove to manage their family business. The siblings work hand in glove to manage their family business. The detective and the forensic team work hand in glove to solve complex cases. The detective and the forensic team work hand in glove to solve complex cases. The chef and the sous chef work hand in glove to create exquisite culinary masterpieces. The chef and the sous chef work hand in glove to create exquisite culinary masterpieces. Six, leave out, leave out. Leave out means to exclude or omit something or someone. Leave out means to exclude or omit something or someone. Jean felt hurt when they left him out of the invitation list. Jean felt hurt when they left him out of the invitation list. Please don't leave out any ingredients when you are making the cake. Please don't leave out any ingredients when you are making the cake. The teacher reminded the students not to leave out any information when writing their essays. The teacher reminded the students not to leave out any information when writing their essays. Seven, jokes on you, jokes on you. Jokes on you is used to inform someone that they are the one who will suffer the consequences of their actions. Jokes on you is used to inform someone that they are the one who will suffer the consequences of their actions. You thought you were pranking me, but the jokes on you, I knew all along. You thought you were pranking me, but the jokes on you, I knew all along. Sophie thought she had outsmarted her brother, but he revealed the truth saying, jokes on you. Sophie thought she had outsmarted her brother, but he revealed the truth saying, jokes on you. Jane tried to embarrass her colleague with a practical joke, but it backfired and he said, jokes on you. Jane tried to embarrass her colleague with a practical joke, but it backfired and he said, jokes on you. That's all for this idiom practice session. Please keep practicing the idioms we learned today until the next time when we pick up seven more idioms and master them. Bye for now.